This is Juan Doses. Welcome to another knife or machete review. This is the Corona machete. It costed me about uh, $14 at the local hardware store. It is one of my favorite machetes. It has proven itself to be very durable. I've cut uh, probably at least 100 trees down, small trees with this machete. Used it to skin the trees and um, peel the bark off for firewood and or teepee poles, sweat lodge poles as well. It is uh, it is proven it, it is very durable. It's, you can see here that the use has made it just a little bit bent, but all in all, it's worked very well for me. The handle is uh, just a little bit loose as I put it under severe duty. It comes out of the sheath uh, kind of sharp, but not really. Sharp enough to do the job, but not razor sharp. And for the work I've been doing with it, it's not, not necessarily. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, again, if you don't hit rocks or hit dirt with it, it'll retain its edge for a long time. This one is uh, 18 inches long, which is perfect for me. All in all, for 14 bucks, quite a nice blade. Again, this one has been put to heavy use, and the only issues I have is uh, the handle's uh, just a little bit loose, and that's understandable. It's got a lanyard hole. Full tan construction. The handle is, uh, in my hands, feels really good, being that it's round. So the, the handle is very comfortable. Fits my hand perfectly. This little part here in the back keeps it from flying out of your hands. There's a lanyard here if you wish. I, I, I hardly ever use a lanyard for my knives or machetes. And again, I don't baton or do anything crazy, but I, I've cut many, many small pines and cords of uh, what is called uh, white cedar or incense cedar with this machete for firewood. And I like this, this blade for peeling off the bark and cutting off all the small limbs. And again, most of the trees that I've cut with this are either pine or white cedar. And almost all of them are dead, of course, for firewood. This is the Corona Machete. And today I'm in a very special place. I'm going to take you to a very special place in my heart. This is uh, an ancient oak tree with a wild bee's nest in it. Sorry guys, or I actually should say sorry ladies. I don't want to piss them off. Um, these are very, these bees are not aggressive, but they, they're busy and they don't want my big fat head in the way. So I'll just do my best to give you a little glance into their hive. And understandably, they, hopefully they won't sting the fuck out of me, but... This is an ancient, ancient oak tree that they're living in. And again, this is a very special spot for me, and I'm not going to tell anybody where it is. I, I love bees and everything about them, and they even have a, a certain smell that I like. It's just beautiful. So they're best left undisturbed. God only knows how much honey this tree is full of. This, this hive has been here as long as I've been here. Again, this is, uh, this is a special place that's near and dear to my heart. I come up here when I need a little solace and to pray, to think. And just enjoy the company of these beautiful bees.
Sorry about that. Sorry about that, girls. Just buzzing around saying, get your fat head out of my way. So I'll give them their space now. And um, back to the Corona machete. I like the handle also because it's brightly colored. So if I drop it, I can see it. And typically I don't use a lanyard on my blades unless uh, I'm climbing a tree or I'm in slippery, slippery conditions. Not a bad blade overall. It's worked very well. And again, because I'm a loser, I'm not going to cry if I, if I lose this out in the bush. But one thing I will say is this particular handle design has, has been changed by Corona to another type of handle design that um, I'm not too fond of. just seems like everything that's good these days is changed into something that's kind of kind of retarded and fake. This is the uh, Corona Machete. And uh, quite a good blade overall if you want something economical and practical. It comes with its own cardboard sheath, which I probably don't need to show you. It's just a cardboard sheath that it comes packaged with. A lot of people are making sheaths these days out of Kydex and or PVC, which I think is a fantastic idea. But uh, I'm kind of a lazy shit like that. I haven't gotten around to getting a proper sheath for it. So I just keep it in the cardboard sleeve that came in. There's nothing uh, special about the blade as far as uh, any coating or whatnot. I, I just, uh, it's a high carbon steel, so it does rust. And I just, uh, like I said, I like chainsaw, chainsaw oil. It's a fantastic oil for machetes and or knives that you're not eating with. Again, um, I stress these are knives that you're not eating with. This is for heavy work, cutting trees, etc., etc. And as a bonus, what I have here is a 99 cent pocket knife. I got this at the Dollar General store. And you can see the little eagle on it. I, I'm not sure. I, I didn't see a visible brand name on it. The body of the knife, uh, this folder, is made out of plastic. And it's got this handy clip on it. And it, so far, has held up. I haven't done anything crazy with it. But for a dollar, I mean, come on. That's, that's not bad for a buck. I, I'm not super fond of the serrated edge. That's kind of a trend I've been seeing quite a bit lately. I, it, you know, it works really good for rope and kind of tough materials. Uh, this this knife uh, isn't terribly sharp, but geez, I mean, if for a stocking stuffer or, or, or a kid's first knife, this is a hell of a deal. I mean, you lose this out in the bush and nobody's going to cry. It's a dollar. However, I tend to keep knives because I don't like losing things as much as I do, but you know, it's w when you're out in the bush, it's not really the price of the knife. It's the fact that you're way out in the middle of nowhere and this knife is, is here for you. So losing a knife isn't necessarily always about the cost, but the, the convenience or inconvenience. Let's see what the, yeah, stainless steel. Again, not, not terribly sharp, uh, but it'll work. The handle feels pretty good in the hand, surprisingly good in the hand for such a cheap knife. And the blade isn't loose, and folds nicely. I got this at the Dollar General store, made in China. I would get this for a kid. Got the little lanyard hole right here. Not bad. Not bad for a dollar.
So being a loser, I, I tend to take inexpensive instruments out in the field with me because if you keep them sharp and you take care of them, well, they work. So thank you for watching my machete knife review and the bonus 99 cent folding pocket knife. I, I'm normally not a big fan of folding knives. I tend to like full tang fixed blades just because they're simple and durable and they're just kind of my thing. Uh, however, folding knives uh, really do have the added bonus of, of, you know, again, being a pocket knife. You can stuff this in your pocket and you got that handy dandy clip there, albeit it's made out of plastic. But so long as you're not doing anything too strenuous, uh, this plastic, uh, his clip is held up very well. So I'm here in my, I wouldn't call it my special spot, but a uh, very special spot to me because of how things are lately. And, uh, you know, anybody that's uh, got a grain of common sense we're thinking a lot about the, you know, the corona and, and how they're always trying to sting you with that, with that jab. And I think the best inoculations and medicines come from Mother Nature herself, not, not from some mad scientist. Mother Nature knows what she's doing. Not, not some weirdo. Not some weird mad scientist. See, they're, they're starting to fly around on me now. But that's the thing. Whenever, whenever a bee flies onto you, it's uh, better not to try to slap them or panic. So I'm going to get out of their way. And again, this is Juan Doses. And thanks for joining my Corona podcast.